Hey guys, we are complete in Him. We're complete because of the finished work at Calvary. So stick a fork in it. In other words, just like a turkey, you go and you check the turkey to see if it's done. It's done. It's complete. You and I are complete in Him. And that's what we're talking about this week. And um, we're just going to pick it up where we left off yesterday. So we're in uh, Co Colossians chapter 2 and we'll pick up with verse 11. It says, in him you also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of sin of the flesh by circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. Okay, first of all, uh, uh, the Old Testament, when we talk about the Old Testament and the things they did in the Old Testament, it was always done in the natural. In the New Testament, it's always done in the spirit. The Bible talks about the natural you can see, but the spirit you cannot see, okay? So this here is talking about a spiritual circumcision, a spiritual death, a spiritual burial, spiritual resurrection. Let me show you what I mean. Go to Philippians chapter 3 and verse 3. And it says, we, for we are the uh, circumcision who worship God in the spirit, Rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. In the Old Testament, what they would do is they would cut away the flesh and circumcise uh, male babies, uh, I think at eight days or something like that. I forget what age it was. But they did that as a seal or a symbol of the covenant relationship that they would have had with God the Father. Now you can ask and go, well, why did they do it that way? I don't know. You can talk to God when you get there. But that's just the way it was done. So in the natural, they would cut away the flesh and all that took place um, in the natural. But here we see it's in the spiritual. We are the circumcision who worship God in spirit. So again, it's still a symbol of our covenant relationship with God, but it's expressed different. It's not in the natural. It's us worshiping God in the spirit. It's us rejoicing in Christ Jesus. It's us having no confidence in the flesh. Do you see that? We are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit, who um, rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. The world should see us worship God in the spirit rejoice in Jesus Christ and have no confidence in the flesh. And when they see that, they see the symbol of our um, covenant relationship with God the Father. All right? So that's the circumcision it's ta they're talking about here in Colossians chapter 2 because it says that that is a circumcision made without hands. It's spiritual. Amen. Okay, then it goes on to say, buried with him in baptism in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. Look with me at Romans. Romans chapter 6. It says in verse 4, therefore we were buried with him. Have you ever been buried? Well, no, not in the natural, but I'm telling you what, in the spiritual, you've been buried with him. You've also been crucified with him. Let's go there. Keep your finger here and go to Galatians chapter 2. Keep your finger there because we're coming back. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. Now, show me your hands. Do you have any nail prints on there? No, you don't. So this is a spiritual crucifixion. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live. Well, if you live, then you've been raised to, from the dead, right? Because the crucifixion talks about death. Now it says, it's no longer I who live. So it talks about resurrection. But I now live in the flesh. Uh, or the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So there, now you're raised from the dead and you're doing the work of God. But it's him doing his work through you. All right, back here to Romans chapter 6. Therefore, we were crucified. We saw it just there in Galatians. And, and we are also here in verse 4. We were buried with him through baptism into death. Have you died? 
Well, not physically, but spiritually, yes, you have. If you're a born-again child of God, you died with him. In, uh, uh, you were buried with him through baptism into death. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so you should also walk in newness of life. You and I, too, have been raised from the dead. That's why Jesus can live his life out through us. Because we're alive. Hallelujah. And his life is now being expressed in us and through us. And we begin to um, worship God in the spirit. We begin to rejoice in Jesus Christ our Lord. And we begin uh, 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 to, um, what was the last one? Uh, uh, um, worship God. Um, rejoice in, in Christ Jesus. Take no no confidence in the flesh. When we do that, the world sees, what's wrong with you? When, when everybody else says the world's going to hell in a handbasket, we rejoice in the Lord and we worship God. Hallelujah. Why? Because I've been crucified with Christ. I'm a dead man walking. But oh, I, how can you be dead? I see you alive. Yeah, that's Christ living his life out through me. And because I know that, that um, I, I can't fail because he's He's done everything. He's completed his work. It's finished. Stick a fork in it. Um, I can rejoice. You see how that works? And the world sees that on you and I. Walking in victory. Why? Because we are complete in him. And, um, and it is finished. So stick a fork in it. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tag Room Devotional. I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.